Hi everyone, I've just got my first ever Prima warehouse sale box and this is my first time having a little bit of a sneak peek in there and going to see what we've got. Um, so I have unsticky taped the box and I'm ready to explore. Well, it looks like it is absolutely jam packed full of goodies. Okay, well, let's see, what have we got? Okay, so it looks like we've got the Salvage District paper collection full of lovely printed vintage papers there with a Paris theme. They should look lovely made up into cards and uh, backgrounds for projects. I haven't actually bought that one, did I it off? I wasn't sure about the colours, but now that I see it in real life, I actually think it's quite, quite pretty. Okay, so let's move that one. Let's see. Oh, okay, so this looks like we've got some felt vines here. Quite a decent thickness on them. And um, I can see them going nicely with some die cut flowers placed on top of those layered up. I absolutely love the Say It in Pearls and Say It in Crystals. Hope that you can see there through the glare of the plastic, but it's got these beautiful acrylic flowers layered in with the design. And one of the nice things with these designs is that you can actually snip your design in several places and get more use out of it. But the glitter on that is just beautiful. Wow, look at this one. That is sparkly. Me, I'm a bling girl and if I can have bling on it, I will definitely find a way. Again, I reckon you could quite easily segment that Put a tr snip through there, snip through there, and rearrange the design as you'd like it. Ooh, these are pretty. So these are the Sadin Crystals Sweet Peppermint Collection from their Christmas collection. They have got some beautiful colors in there. Some nice traditional greens, golds. Very nice. Okay, so this looks like we've got some letter tiles and some nice sized journaling cards in there. Let's have a quick look. I'll watch my little letters. Okay, so we've got a nice floral, two of those and two on the peppermint mint green color, and they are single-sided. And the little wood tiles, also single-sided, but in a nice decorative font. Oh, some more lovely satin crystals. And this is like a very pale, dusty pink got a nice intricate background there for it to sit on too so there might actually be um, a nice way of being able to use that backing cardboard in a project okay so these are what they're calling antique trinkets um, they're quite heavy made from metal uh, these three here appear to be all the same and then some big bezeled crystal um, set into a, a textured metal frame there. Probably not my type of thing that I would normally use, but you know what? I reckon I might give it a go and see what I can do with those. Oh, these are pretty too. So some in crystals. Now these come in um, predetermined designs so you don't have to think about putting designs together with individual crystals they're actually done for you we've got a nice pepperminty green a bronzy crystal a clear or a silver and some very pretty red very nice 
Okay, this one is interesting. This is a set of ephemera buttons or pins and it comes with its own little stamp to go with it. And the stamp, uh, if I don't know if you can see, but it's a flower, but then in the background, it's got like a text going through it. Very pretty. And that's from the um, Something Blue collection. Okay. Wow, there is so much in this box. I bought the $99 box, which said it would have over $300 worth of product. And by the looks of this, it is jam-packed with goodies. Right, so now I've got the Welcome to Paris stack here. So 48 sheets, three sheets of each design, A4 in size. And let's have a bit of a quick flick through. Okay, from front. Okay, definitely very Paris feeling in here. Fashionable ladies we have. Some nice text backgrounds. Oh, red butterflies. That's actually a really pretty red. Then we've got a nice, uh, like a trellis design there in a chartreuse green. Then we've got a very sort of dusty blue gray with more of the same tones there feels very vintage art deco styled i can see some of these being cut out and used as borders or actual um, design features on a project or card okay so then we've got some letters now they're not actually stickered but they are ones that you would trim out fussy cut out the designs and off you go so there's four sheets of those as well then we've got the floral followed by Eiffel Towers and I've got some nice Eiffel Tower dies that I think are going to look really cool with this set of papers there's our very fashionable ladies on parade larger ladies now they would look nice cut out and used as design features. I could see those being layered up on top of each other using some glitter or some of your Nouveau drops. Very pretty. This one looks like a very floral, uh, very floral wallpaper, very Nouveau styled. The Eiffel Tower itself, and I realize it's probably upside down for you. Um, my apologies there and a nice red ring um, background there with the distressed look on it. And last up, the type of writing that you might see um, on posters and displays, um, advertising special events or features on posters. Okay, so that one's interesting, Not interesting color mix there. Another paper pad we have. Oh, this is beautiful. This one is called the Royal Menagerie. Now, I think when this came out, I did look at this and I off the pack. And I'm really pleased to see that it's in my box because I didn't get to buy it. And so that's an extra special bonus for me. Okay, so we'll start from the back. The pages are double designed. That's a nice one with the clocks and the bicycle. Okay, multiples of each design. That's a really pretty purpley fuchsia color. That's lovely. Wow, they're lovely too. Very botanical. Okay, the next design. I just love the watercolor wash on that, that effect there. And the crowns, very much a very regal royal menagerie feel to this pad. Gorgeous colours. These colours are definitely um, more to my taste than the Paris one. Um, but I see that I can use all these papers in different ways. And last design there, lovely florals again. Okay, so that one was the royal menagerie. Looks like we've got a stencil here. Okay, so we have got a rose stencil here. 
it's nice. Um, I can see that being used perhaps with that Royal Menagerie, with the um, the Paris background and also the um, Salvage collection that I had earlier. Other designs are available. This is the one I received. Okay, so this is an interesting idea. This is their pinwheel stencil. Um, so you've got the different petals and you turn it and you can create multiple designs um, using the same shape. And I'll have to have a play with that and show you what products um, or um, designs I get out of that. I haven't used one of these before, so I am keen to see just how I operate it and what I produce. Okay, so here we have another large stencil. It's an eight by 10 or a, around 20 centimeters by 25 centimeters. And it actually um, says, enjoy the day or enjoy today with a nice floral um, border on the bottom. Again, you could use those separately as you wish. Um, I could see this being lovely to use with some Nuvo, um, some embossing paste or glitter paste and um, even the Brutus Munro glitter glazes that would look lovely using that too. I am not even halfway through this box. It is certainly jam packed. Right, so here we've got laminated canvas. I've never actually had any of these products before. They're quite a decent thickness, um, you can see there, and it's printed directly onto a canvas and laminated there. I'm thinking you could probably write on these quite easily with a nice um, fabric pen. You want something that's not going to bleed um, when the pen touches the uh, fabric or the canvas there. So yeah, interesting. Oh, okay, so this one's lovely. We've got that nice um, teal in here. We've got quite a bit of the silver holographic foil throughout and it even comes with some sequins. Ah, very nice, nice colours and this is from the Zella Teal or Bella Teal collection. Very nice. Oh, looks like I scored another one of the teardrop stencils. Um, let me just compare and see if they're the same design. Let's grab the other one. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know if that was an oopsie by Prima, but I actually have two the same. Okay, so I might think about um, doing a giveaway with one of those in coming videos. Keep an eye out for that one. Ooh, more of the Sayed and Pearls. This one's got both the pearls and the crystals. It's a bronzy... Um, Grey bronzy sort of colour throughout there, just different shadings. It's very pretty. I think that would look quite nice with that um, first paper collection that I got out the box, the salvage collection. It looks like this is going to be some rub ons. Okay, yeah, they definitely some very, very pretty rub ons we've got here. Lots of the birds flowers, little nest. Very pretty. Right, so this is some thinner bar designs. Wow, this is a lovely stamp set. I actually purchased this one myself. Um, so, uh, and it stamps beautifully. The blue rubber cling in there gives a nice deep detailed stamp. So again, that one I might put in for a uh, giveaway down the track too. Ooh, okay, so we've got some lovely foil stickers. Okay, so there looks like there's a number of them in a pack. Sorry for the noise there of the plastic opening, but dig inside and see what we have. So we've got the one layer there, the patterns, then we've got like washi border strips, different designs, even some letters there. Quite a fine washi paper feel to it. And then we've got some words, okay, or sentiments there. <laughs> goofy, that catches my attention straight away, the goofy. 
Okay, and there's another Goofy over here. So, oh, my favorite, napping. Um, so yeah, nice little set of washies there to add a bit of um, sparkle to projects. And I've got two of those as well. Oh, Julie Nutting. Oh, okay. So I have quite a few of the Julie Nutting designs. I haven't got this one. I don't know if I've actually seen this one before. But you've got all your little note um, frames here. There's a little banner. And there's even one of the little dolls down there. Super cute to use in your planners as well. And you've got a nice long border and some smaller borders there. This little notepad's very cute, note page. Oh, okay, so here we have another one of those washi tape designs. Okay, this time it looks like it's uh, food inspired. So we've got coffee time, uh, coffee again, favorite coffee moments, relaxation focus, some, um, some good vibes there. So quite um, cute there. And I know that um, the coffee and tea designs uh, have been quite popular in uh, paper crafting recently. So they'll match a number of the projects uh, and design papers that I have. So definitely we'll be able to use those. Let's see. Okay, so this is called Bordeaux Antique Chain in the copper color. Um, it actually looks like there's something sparkling in there, but that's just the finish on the ends of the chain. Okay, so, all right, not sure what I'll do with that, but I'll find a way to use them as an embellishment. Next, I love the Prima flowers. They are so beautiful um, and so love, well made. They always just add that little bit of um, color or elegance to your cards or projects. And here we've got a mixture of different colored teals with a little seed bead in the middle of them. So they're very pretty. Let's see, more flowers. Okay, so here we have a pillow box of flowers in the fuchsia color scheme. So, or hot pink. Some with patterns, some with writing, some in solid colour, some with spots, all different sizes and shapes in there. And one of the things I like to do with these is get a little bit of glue and um, press the ends of the petals into some glitter or um, other embellishments like the seed beads themselves and put around them. Also a thing called prills, P-R-I-L-L-S, they're nice in there. Um, and they're also, when you use the prills or the seed beads in the center or one of the Satan crystal gems in there to really set off the, um, the flower, make it pop. Right, now it looks like I've got washi tape here. And it is from, let's see, Prima Traveler's Journal, Lovely Notes. So in here, there are three rolls as I drop them all. Okay, let's see. We have got, looks like a gentleman there. I would say Mozart, his piano, and a range of other very Parisian vintage -y looking um, designs. That might be nice to go back with um, the salvage collection and the Paris designed ones. Okay, this one is a more muted, pale, pinky cream. I'm not sure what color you want to call that. And it's got more of the vintage designs as well. If I hold it up this way, you can see the flowers and the music notes and other little designs through it. And the last roll, again with the music notes, hold it the right way for you. Okay, we've got the butterflies there, some of the lettering. This is nice, the little corset. And back to the beginning there. So very nice washi tapes and a nice wide length there. Get quite a bit of coverage out of those. Some more washi tapes. This time they're in a different thickness. Uh, these are called Pen Pal from the pen pal uh, and it's Amelia Rose collection. Now will they open easily for me? Yes. 
I like the little storage containers they come in keeps them all together the collections nicely so we've got like a uh, crocheted or knitted stitch design there we've got another one here that has um, scripted writing going multiple directions and a beautiful uh, deep pink dusty pink with the rose gold foiling around it so you can see there's quite a lot on these rolls as well so that's lovely I can see that going nicely with that salvage collection as well this box is definitely going to be well worth the $300 they say it's worth um, and this was the $99 box that they had okay so here's some more rub-ons they're very cute little girl and boy Easter coming up there's a bunny rabbit and some chicks that might work nicely there they're cute okay so these are some more of the Amelia Rose collection and they're romantic stickers okay so all in a circular shape there's some nice textures they've got layered in there I'm just wondering if the designs are all the same or whether we've got various oh here we go so we do have various color schemes throughout um, and again I can see those matching back to that salvage collection quite nicely too right oh okay these are cute these are some puffy dimensional stickers okay and there's a bit of a variety there okay this is from the amber moon collection and we've got um, a variety of fall sort of themed uh, icons or autumn as we would say here in Australia um, and we're just starting autumn in Australia at the moment although it's not very cool yet um, so you've got some nice font on here with your um, sentiments jars butterflies um, very nice color scheme there wouldn't necessarily have to be just for autumn uh, or fall I can see those being used in a, a variety of ways so they're pretty okay some more of the amber moon here with um, their word or sentiment stickers so there are 81 different stickers in this collection here um, lots of pumpkins lots and lots of pumpkins and nuts okay now we don't really have acorns here in Australia but I know they're very symbolic of fall and autumn okay and here's some more on the back very pretty with that coppery rose gold color foiling on them looks like we've got more rub-ons here okay so this one is rub-ons again true beauty lies within sure does some very pretty little um, rub-ons there again very regal would look nice back with the botanical um, collection the Royal Menagerie collection we had out just before okay well these are interesting okay I've never um, attempted any projects using these types of metal um, trinkets or embellishments uh, so there are one two three four five of the pendant pieces or trinket pieces and then you've got your letters there that you can um, attach in there might be nice hanging off a um, project rather than a card where you um, put the initial of the person receiving it um, very pretty I'd like to um, see these being colored with some of the metallic um, paints from Prima or the um, antique waxes that they have and color those up into beautiful um, colors rather than just the plain bronze okay here we have we have got another Sade and Crystals this one again in the smoky colored crystal and pearl and it looks like I've got a second set of these flare buttons and stamp so that might be another one that I can give away in future oh 
these are pretty. So these are some wooden um, embellishments here. Uh, they actually got prints on them or transfers placed on them. Got the boards here, we've got dream, we've got like a little clock, notes and some boards. So they're really pretty. And I love how Prima always puts their um, die cut wood into uh, these little boxes. I like to reuse those boxes for other projects. Okay, oh, some more. Okay, so we know the tea and coffee theme has uh, been very popular in recent months. And here we have some more of it. So we've got coffee time, some cute little mugs, a tea or coffee pot, our donuts, little love icon, and some little glasses frames. These I can see, um, you can paint those up, put your Nuvo on it, um, even use um, some glue and some foil and foil them over as well. Um, that might be nice if we use some of the Nuvo or um, your glitters to add to the spots and even to the sprinkles here. That would look really cute. Next, we have some more wood icons. So we have a very fine looking gentleman here with his top hat. A very elegant lady with her hair done nicely. A cute little envelope with a little nest inside and it says special. A um, platter, I think it is, or a woodcut. It says lovely and then the flowers in there. And we've got a stag's head and a crown. And again, I could see those decorated up looking lovely or you're leaving on plain like that as a silhouette. Still not at the end of this box. What an awesome, awesome box of goodies to open. Okay, so here I've got two chalk inkers. Okay, one is called Vermilion and the other one is Pastel Brown. That looks like the perfect colour to go with the Parisian set of papers. And that's a good all-round colour to use with any of the papers I've got here. So they're two very nice ink colours that'll be very useful. Okay, nearly to the bottom of one side. Wow, this looks beautiful. It's called the Christine Adolf Foil Card Kit. Florabella. It has eight cards and envelopes, 24 jewels, 16 papers, 33 ephemera, six foil sheets, and three adhesive rub-ons. I don't think I've ever seen these kits before. Don't think I've seen them here in Australia, that's for sure. But everything you need in there, and there's the crystals you can see in there, all your um, die cuts, some foil sheetings in between there, rub-ons here, cards and envelopes as well. So um, that's pretty cool. Haven't seen that before. 98 pieces in total. So I think you probably get at least the eight cards that they say you get in out of the box um, and then some. And you can see it looks like it's got gold, silver and either copper or rose gold. Um, foiling inside okay some more little wood embellishments you and me true love I do mr. mrs. and the happy couple okay so they're very cute oh, I've got another one of the trinket sets okay so now I've got ten of these so we'll see whether I use them all or whether I give them away as a prize. Okay, very good. Let's see, oh, another ink. Well, that's a pretty color. Okay, this one is called Cold Ice. Okay, and these are chalk inks. So they go on um, and leave a nice opaque coverage onto um, whatever you stamp. Okay, and I like the shape of these stamp or ink pads with the points. They really let you get around your um, project edges really nicely. Right, what's next? 
beautiful flowers here. These will look lovely back with that Royal Menagerie collection. Very pretty lemons and mints and peaches and creams. And this one's got a pattern on it. Okay, very nice. Here we've got some more peaches. These ones got pearls and little stamens inside and you can see the sparkle that's inside of those. Very pretty. These ones are quite um, dimensional in their sizes. And we've got um, very pretty flowers here, butterfly and some greenery there. So they're quite nice too. Here we've got some beautiful gold trim. That is lovely. Let's just have a quick look at that. So if I put my hand under there, you can see it's quite wide, but again, you could quite easily snip out to the shape or design you want, or leave it as a full border panel on your project. But that's gorgeous and it's a really pretty colored gold. Okay, so here we have a rich chocolate brown and like a sienna burnt orange flower. They're quite a nice color. That reminds me back of the um, Autumn Moon collection that we just saw before. Um, I think it'd be nice in that autumn sort of fall colorway. Okay, some really bright, pretty flowers here. And um, I can see them being really pretty to use with some nice summery springtime cards. That one, so there's nine there of those. These are lovely. I think once you get them out the packet and you smoosh them back to where they need to be, you'll see the full beauty of these. They actually have little crystals um, attached to the stamens in there as well. It's a little bit hard to see, but they're in there. And once they're fluffed up, they'll look beautiful. Okay, so another variety of the um, peach sparkly flowers. Again, very pretty with the sparkle on there. We're getting close to the end. This has been a very packed full box of good goodies. Okay, so they're um, nicely dimensional, these ones. Just feeling how thick they feel. They're quite stiff. Very interesting colour combinations there. Um, and one of the things I think about with these um, fabric flowers or um, paper press flowers is um, the possibility of changing the colourways with your sprays and inks as well if they're not quite the colour you would use or the pattern that you would use. So that's always an option too. Okay, this is quite heavy. Alright, um, so these are called Archival Cast Facia and Familiaris. Uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So they're quite deep, perfect for your um, mixed media projects. They have hooks here so they can be hung off projects. Um, not sure how I'm gonna use those. That will be a challenge for me to actually do something like that, use a project using these. Um, my husband might even like to use them with his resin work that he does. So we'll see what we do with those. Okay, some more very pretty flowers. Lovely colours in there. Very nice, especially these teals and aquas and this uh, indigo blue. Very pretty. Oh, very nice colours here. Um, so a variety of uh, different shades of pink and some leaves as well to help set them off. Nice contrast to the vividness of the pinks and peaches in there. These are some lace 
flowers, so definitely handmade. And when they're out, you would fluff those out and um, you'd be able to see the really pretty centers they've put inside each of those flowers. Again, quite dimensional. Right, let's see. Oh, some clothes pegs. Okay, little pegs, clips there. Um, I always think getting these and putting some uh, magnets on the back and using them in the craft room um, to hold different bits and pieces and projects in place is always um, a nice use for these. Of course, you could always use them in your mixed media projects, but I like to use them as they are to um, hold my projects together or put them on things on display, photos even. Okay, well, these are lovely. Let me just shake that down. So we've got some um, 3D stickers. 29 pieces it says and of course that would be including the little crystals they've given us there to add in for decorations okay love the swan love the little birdie very cute okay almost to the end what have we got here some flowers okay so some muted colors of flowers here from lifetime collection six there then we have some more of these pretty fabric flowers. I see these white and creams like this and I think it would be very easy to um, spray or um, change the color of them to whatever color you desire, um, rather than just having to have them white if you needed to color them or have a different color for your project. Again, they've got the lovely little crystals uh, attached to some of the stamens. Okay, so we've got tags and tickets, 25 pieces. Okay, so this is interesting. I haven't had these before. So there's our tags. We've got some twine, looks like a jute twine, um, and tags there for those to go on. And these would be our tickets that we can use to um, decorate with as well. Okay, they're kind of cute. And they're from that Royal Menagerie collection. So. They'll go nicely with that paper pad. Okay. Ooh. So these are some of the colors and patterns that we saw earlier in one of the other bunches of flowers. And they've got those nice aquas and yellows and orange. And these are groovy little flowers with their aqua and orange uh, stripes through there. So they're very pretty. Nice and dimensional again. almost at the bottom okay and here we have some more flowers from Prima 36 in this pack and these are lovely to um, stack up on each other so you small and layer so your smaller ones layering onto the big ones and then you can fluff them up nice and full and the lucky last one that I've been leaving to the end Let's have a look and see. Now I do have a craft knife around here somewhere. Let's see what's inside this bubble wrap here. Have I cut it enough? Almost. Okay, put the lid back on that so no one gets cut. lovely 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 little mini dolls from Julie Nutting I love these now I have two jars I've been hoarding the last the first jar I've got um, I just can't bring myself to use them I just love looking at them they're very cute lots of different designs in here all with little loops so quite easy to attach to projects and if you didn't want to have the loop on there, if you've got a handy hubby or you're handy yourself, you could nick those off or um, saw them off and just give them a little sandpapering and smooth them over. Uh, very cute little bundle of dollies there from Julie Nutting. All little designs in here, even one of the little boys. So very, very cute. 
and there's quite a few different designs in there. These are just some of the ones that I've been able to pull out for you. So I hope you can see them well. These colour up nicely also. Okay, so that is the end of my box of goodness from Prima. And um, I think the sale has now ended, but if you're at home and you've ordered one of these boxes and you're waiting for yours to come, I hope I haven't spoiled all your surprises. I do think you'll find that there's some variations between um, the boxes. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And um, I look forward to future videos. Keep an eye out for when I do the giveaways. Many thanks. See you again. Bye-bye.